Thank you, Mr. Speaker. is indeed an American tragedy. Too often, this violent act that resulted in the murder of Trayvon Martin is repeated in the streets of our nation. I applaud the young people all across the land who are making a statement about hoodies, about the real hootlands in this nation, particularly those who tread on our laws, wearing official or quasi-official clothes. Racial profiling has to stop, Mr. Speaker. Just because someone wears a hoodie does not make them a hula. The Bible teaches us, Mr. Speaker, in the book the of Micah 6, 6 the member, eight, will the member will suspend. These words. The, the member will These suspend. words. He the has member, shown you, old man. The member will what is suspend. Good, the chair must remind what does the not, clause What does the Lord require of you but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God? And in the New Testament, Luke 4, 4, 18 to 20, teaches us these words. The Spirit of the, the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to proclaim the, the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners Never and to recover a sight to the blind, to set the oppressed free. I urge all who hear these words to heed these lessons. May God the bless the no Martin so his family the member is no longer recognized. The chair will ask the sergeant at arms to enforce the prohibition on decor. The chair must remind members that clause 5 of rule 17 prohibits the wearing of hats in the chamber when the house is in session. The chair finds that the donning of a hood is not consistent with this rule. Members need to remove their hoods or leave the floor. Pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1, the chair declares the House 